Today we're going to be reviewing the Motorola Moto G. The unit we're looking at today is the 8GB version, but it's also available with 16GB of storage. Now the most unique thing about the device is its price and the way it's being sold. The device is being sold unlocked in most parts of the world and is being sold off contract for $179 for the 8GB version in the US. Now considering that unlocked versions of phones like the Galaxy S4 and the iPhone 5S retail for over $500 in the US, it makes the phone a very attractive buy. In fact, even some older Android phones like the Galaxy S3 mini that are sold in the US unlocked retail for well over $200. And Motorola, now owned by Google, ups the stakes again. Instead of installing a two-year-old version of Android, the Moto G updates immediately to Android KitKat, the latest version of Android. In addition to this, the phone is quad-band, so it'll work with any GSM carrier globally. There's also a CDMA version on the way. Now let's take a look around the device and see how it performs. On the front face is that 4.5 inch 720p display, and it's important to point out that the screen is covered with a sheet of Gorilla Glass, so you don't need to worry about scratching the screen and don't need a screen protector. On the top left is the 1.3 megapixel front facing camera and the phone speaker. And there's nothing else on the front face. On the right edge is the volume rocker button and the power button. On the bottom edge is the micro USB charging port and what appears to be a microphone. On the top edge is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and what appears to be a second microphone. And there's nothing on the left edge. The rear cover is made from this rubberized plastic material. And on top of the rear face are the speaker grill, the 5 megapixel rear facing camera, and an LED flash for the camera. Now the rear cover of the phone can be pried open. And this reveals the non-removable battery and the micro SIM card slot. In order to cut costs, Motorola left out an SD card slot, so you'll have to use cloud storage if you run out of storage on the phone. In fact, Google throws in a free 50 gigabytes of cloud storage for two years with the Moto G. The build quality on the phone also seems pretty good, and the phone's curved surface makes it very comfortable to hold. However, it is marginally heavier than a few of the more popular smartphones on the market, though this extra weight is barely noticeable. The Moto G's 720p screen is excellent. The colors are exceptionally well rendered, the screen is bright and everything is very sharp. And it also has a wide range of screen viewing angles. And just to give you some idea of how good the display on the Moto G is, here it is compared to the Retina display on the iPhone 5S. And it's almost impossible to tell that this is a display on a reasonably priced phone. The update to Android KitKat has also made the phone buttery smooth and responsive. There's very little Motorola bloatware installed and most of the bloatware is reasonably useful Google Apps. And thus the device is very close to stock Android. Users moving from earlier versions of Android or iOS will appreciate the refinement of Android KitKat. The quad-core Snapdragon 400 processor also ensures the device never lags, hangs, or freezes. An extremely smooth performance, as you can see in this little test. The call quality on the phone when tested with T-Mobile's network in the US was also excellent. The speaker sounded very clear and the antenna was very stable and reliable. However, the phone does lack 4G LTE capability. Now while this might be an issue for consumers in the US, it's likely that consumers outside the US will not miss the lack of 4G LTE. The web browsing experience on the device is also pretty good. Web pages load up very fast, scrolling is smooth, but pinch to zoom does have a bit of lag. HD video playback from YouTube and Netflix were both excellent. The video played back smoothly and the screen quality really added to the experience. Now we've set the volume to 100% so you can actually hear how it sounds. How'd you like to come and see the world with me? Yes, you will see Francesco. I like this. You 
so getting beat tomorrow. The gaming experience was also very smooth as you can see here. No frames were dropped and the device conveyed input accurately. The screen quality also enhances this experience. The rear-facing 5 megapixel camera was decent. Colors were reasonably well captured and the images were crisp. The 720p video quality, however, was below average. The footage wasn't very sharp. The battery life on the device was pretty decent. When playing back HD video from YouTube, the device lasted approximately 5 hours on a single charge. The GPS navigation on the phone also worked well when tested with Google Maps. So overall, the Moto G offers the best value for money of any device currently on the market. It offers an excellent HD display, great call quality, a smooth performance, and does all this at a very impressive price point. Definitely a game changer from Motorola that sets the stage for more reasonably priced devices that perform more like their pricier cousins. Hope this review has been useful. If it has, please subscribe for more reviews and hit that like button. Thanks for watching.